This is the Rubik's Cube Corners First tutorial. Although this is a standalone tutorial, it's also an extension of my 2x2x2 Pocket Cube Beginner tutorial. So I'll quickly solve all the corners, or the 2x2x2 cube first, to demonstrate what this visually looks like on the Rubik's Cube. As you can see in this cube, the corners are actually solved versions of that. If you can imagine the cube without any of these edge pieces or centre pieces, it's exactly the same as a 2x2 cube. What we're going to do then is, we're going to move along and use these crossroads to distribute the edge pieces around the cube without affecting any of the corner pieces whatsoever. So you can see the corner pieces can remain the same and that these pieces can be distributed not affecting the corner pieces. Let's move on and solve the cube. What I'm going to do is to concentrate only on the corner pieces and to totally ignore all of the other pieces, the edge pieces and the centre pieces on the cube. My first task then will be to create the white face by placing all of the white stickers onto that one face. By the simplest move possible I'm going to put that, that sticker there and now I only have to replace one more sticker there's my sticker there. I'm going to turn it out and then replace it with L anticlockwise, U anticlockwise, L. Now that I've got my white face designated, just like in the 2x2 cube, I'm going to treat this as my yellow face. And you can see that I've got one yellow sticker orientated and three other stickers need orientating. To do that I'm going to place one of the stickers that needs orientating in the top right hand corner and call this yellow face the front face. It's the yellow face because I've designated it to be because it's opposite the white face just like the 2x2 cube. So there's my sticker that needs orientating in the top right hand side corner and I'm going to use U R anticlockwise U anticlockwise R U R anticlockwise U anticlockwise R to orientate that replace that sticker that needed orientated with another sticker that needs orientating and use U R anticlockwise, U anticlockwise, R, U R anticlockwise, U anticlockwise, R. Replace the sticker again. U R anticlockwise, U anticlockwise, R, U R anticlockwise, U anticlockwise, R. For all of the other ways to orientate the yellow stickers on that layer, please refer to the 2x2 Pocket Cube tutorial. And now you'll see that I've orientated my yellow corner pieces and my white corner pieces. The next thing that I'm going to do is to place all of the pieces in the correct positions next to each other. You'll notice that I've got one pair on the top yellow face, so these two will need to be exchanged. I'm going to do that with R2 U, R2 U anticlockwise, R2, turn my whole cube anticlockwise, R2 U anticlockwise, R2 U, R2, and then I'm going to have a look in my other layer to see if there's any pairs. Because there's no pairs, 
I'm going to randomly perform R2, U, R2, U anti-clockwise, R2, turn the whole cube anti-clockwise, R2, U anti-clockwise, R2, U, R2. Now that I have two pairs, I'll place them on my left hand side and perform R2, U, R2, U anti-clockwise, R2. Whole cube anti-clockwise, R2, U anti-clockwise, R2, U, R2. Now I have all of my 2x2 two two cube on this 3x3 three three solved. The next thing that I'm going to do is just to relocate that white face to my white centerpiece. And I can do that just by performing a simple move like that. And you'll see my yellow face and my white face are now the faces of my 3x3 three three cube and I can go on and begin placing the edge pieces inside both of those layers.